Veterans James Drury and Leroy Klepping are brothers-in-law from Comanche, Iowa. Both served in the Korean War at the same time. Together, they visited the memorials that honor their sacrifice. We thought we should stick together on this deal. Staff Sergeant James Drury became a U.S. Army medic when he was 19 years old. It's very typical of a patrol, and I went out on many patrols. He says looking at the lifelike monuments at the Korean War Memorial is overwhelming. I had a lot, a lot of friends that I lost that I couldn't save. And I had a lot of friends killed over there. So it's, it's very emotional. And is still suffering the loss of a dear friend. On Thanksgiving Day in 1952, he came over and visited with me. And uh, then he went back to his unit. And a week later, he was killed on the battlefield. He lost both his legs. He, he was a medic, as I was. A, and, and, and I done, I still not over it. Drury says his brother-in-law, Sergeant Leroy Klepping, also dealt with his share of heartache. He was taking a break and his, his friend was out and one of the mines exploded and he was killed. Klepping was a combat engineer for the 1st Marine Division. He used to detect mines before infantry moved forward. We go about 10 or something like that and then change. Now the meaning of the memorial is even greater. I just want to lie everything I see. Drury says time for reflection with his brother-in-law is running out. Leroy Klepping has dementia and the memories are fading. For 60 years I've been wondering why I didn't, why, why I deserved to make it back. And uh, so this is very meaningful to be able to stand here today and realize that we did make it back. Although the 26th Honor Flight was the last trip of the year, the local VFW out of Eldridge is fundraising future flights. To find out how you can help get our veterans on the Honor Flight, head to our website, cbs4qc.com, and click on this story. Christine Souder, CBS 4 News, this morning.